Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and another speed build video. I mean, I don't know what else you expected to find here. <laughs> Anyways, this is, uh, so I, there was a huge sale on Sims games and 50% off expansion packs. And I only had two expansion packs left that I didn't own, which was Cats and Dogs and Get Together. So obviously I had to buy them and I did. So this was literally right after buying the expansion pack for, well, I bought both of them at the same time. And the first thing I did was go into, oh my God, what is it called? Bridleton Bay? Is that what the world is called in the cats and dogs? I think so. And I started building on this one little lot that was right by the water. And I thought, oh, I'm going to build like a cute, tiny coastal. I mean, it's not tiny by the standards of like super tiny. This has a uh, full kitchen, a living room, a dining space, a bedroom, a bathroom, and a dining space outside. So it's a bit bigger than a tiny house, I guess. Um, I, I just realized this is kind of like a theme right now. I mean, I'm three videos in and they're all tiny, uh, small houses. So I think I'm going to start a bigger build soon and it's going to take me a while. So I'm going to have to do other smaller <laughs> builds in between. Um, so yeah, so with the coastal, for me, when I think of a coastal build, I picture a lot of woods, light woods, white washed woods, or, uh, blue woods, obviously, as I did the exterior of the house in blue and white. And I loved the contrast between the white shingles at the top by the roof and then the blue, uh, walls. Now I did do this build, uh, a week ago now. So I'm sure there's going to be some things that I kind of forget about as I go, but I do make some changes. I think I had it as a tiny coastal to start off and then I changed it to small coastal because it just didn't fall under the category uh, for a uh, small house as far as I was concerned. Now I also modeled the inside um, kind of off of my very, very first apartment that I ever lived in at the age of 17. Yeah, I moved, <laughs> don't, don't move out of your house when you're 17, don't do it. But I did, I moved out of my house when I was 17 and I moved in with my boyfriend at the time and we got this tiny little apartment. This is a bigger, obviously, than what the apartment was in real life, but the kitchen is pretty much identical except there was no window in my kitchen um, and there wasn't that extra counter past the stove. I, I literally, <laughs> literally had the fridge, a chunk of counter with a sink, and then a super tiny chunk of counter beside it, but there's no half tile counters. So obviously I have to put a full tile in and then the stove. And then that was it. Um, but when I think of kind of like the floor, floor plan of that house, I was like, oh, that's perfect for a tiny house. Except like I said, I did make it a little bit bigger. So aesthetically wise for the inside of the house, I wanted to stick with a lot of white and blues for the main part of the house. Um, and then the bedroom and the bathroom, it's a little more pastel, like for the walls at the very least, it's a little more pastel in there. I absolutely love this little house so much. And I'm currently playing, cause like I said, I built this a week ago and this is the, you know, I'm just getting around to narrating it now, but I'm actually currently playing in this house right now. Um, because I, I, I wanted to build in the cats and dogs, obvious like the world, but I also wanted to play it, like explore the gameplay of it. So I've been playing it for a couple of days now. The only thing I thought I would have to get like a job is being a vet, but you actually have to buy a vet clinic. Uh, and like, there's only one in the game that was already created and it's like 80,000 simoleons. And, uh, I, so I'm debating cheating just so I can get her in there or maybe building a small, vet office, but I have no idea like what the requirements are, but maybe I'll check out because there's like those lessons in the menu of the game. Maybe there's one there about vets, but anyways, back to the build here. Um, yeah. So the bathroom, I mean, it, it's a bathroom. It's simple. I could have probably just cut it out, but I did throw washer and dryer in the bathroom and it's really cute. Now our apartment did not look anything like this. I mean, we were 17, he was 18 and <laughs> it wasn't decorated. We had furniture that was given to us. <laughs> it was, anyways, it was, and the outside obviously looked nothing like that because it was an apartment. It was like, 
this, I don't know how to even explain it. It was like this big kind of long apartment and it had all these tiny apartments below. And then there was stairs up outside that led to like two floor apartments uh, up top. So like much larger. But, uh, well, you know, you live where you can when you're 17. And I mean, oh my God, this was so long ago that our rent, if I remember correctly, was like 300 and like $25, I think. It was so inexpensive. Um, yeah, so the living room right now, I've got it set up this way. And I don't remember if I have it on camera or not. I don't think I do. I think eventually it just pans back to the living room and it's different. Um, I took the stove that's not a stove there we go right there um i took the sofa and put it obviously straight across instead of on an angle and i do switch out the shelves that i have the tv on um, i do switch that out for an actual kind of like i guess an accent table um and then these planters which came with i think get together i love them i've been building in the sims a lot for the past like i don't know handful of months and I'm always, I was always saying to myself, like, why is there no hanging plants for outside? Like, that's so, like, such a common item that everyone has outside their houses. Like, 99% of people, I'm going to say, have hanging plants outside their houses. And I just couldn't believe there was none. And then I bought the Get Together uh, expansion pack as well during the sale because they're half price. Like, how do you not buy them? And I was like, finally, some hanging plants. I was so excited to use them. And I find, like, Maybe they don't fit into the build super well because it's like, I think, black cast iron and the rest of the build just doesn't look like that at all. But I had to put them because I've been complaining about not having any. Um, and then I take the, well, as you can see, I take the closet out, which in real life, the apartment did have a closet there, but I wanted to put a computer area in. So I thought that would be a better use of it. And really the closet is great and all, but with a dresser, you don't need the closet, you know, so I don't have an extra spot to woohoo will survive. So yeah, so I just put in a handful of things. And at first I was planning on making this kind of like a budget build, like as a starter home. But as I was going through and putting stuff in, I was just really enjoying it and really having a fun time building it. So I decided to kind of ignore the budget. And I, <laughs> I think I had to add $5,000 to the household. I don't even know three maybe four times because even the landscaping was getting really expensive and when it comes to the landscaping I actually landscaped the whole yard <clears throat> excuse me and decided I didn't really like it for a coastal after I looked up a few pictures for coastal builds oh sorry little sip of water there <clears throat> so I took all of the landscaping out except for the long bushes that I had all around the house itself, but all the landscaping on the side, I changed it completely and I just put in some wild grass and some lavender and some, what are they called? I think cattails or something. They look, usually they grow like on a beach or something. Um, Cause after I did the landscaping, I hadn't really looked up coastal landscaping before that. I just think I know everything and I turned out I was super wrong because it looked really bad. <laughs> so I looked it up and Googled a few pictures and then one of the pictures I saw actually had like the cattail wispy looking things and a bunch of lavender plants and it looked so pretty. I was like, I have to do that. That makes a lot more sense. So, and it turns out looking really nice. Again, I know I mentioned it in my very first video. The landscaping for me is something I still find kind of difficult. I I, cause I don't in real life, I know nothing about gardening. I know nothing about plants. So I don't know where things should grow and shouldn't grow a rose bush. Like I'm just going to put a rose bush wherever I want one, but I'm sure in reality, a rose bush should probably go somewhere specific for sun and heat and maximum, whatever. I don't know anything about gardening, but I, I mean, I guess most people who build in the Sims probably don't know much about gardening. Um, and Anyways, whatever. Landscaping is what it is. I think I cut most of it out anyways. And the final product looks nice. I just, I find when I'm landscaping, I do second guess a lot. So here you can see where I have all the lines of dirt. This is where I had all kinds of other stuff uh, before. And I pulled all that stuff out, got rid of all of it. And then I just start putting in like all the lavender. I, I think I cut out most of it. Um, I just kind of show bits and pieces as I'm going and the patio deck area and the little chair and the bird feeder uh, or the water bird water bird bath bird bath <laughs> they're all there because I had put them already because I had like I had actually 
finished my build. Um, and then I went back in and decided to change. So um, I think we're pretty much coming to the end. The screenshots are coming up. So um, yeah, if you like this, please comment, like it, subscribe, whatever the stuff is that you're supposed to do. And let me know what other things you'd like to see built. Um, and be nice in the comments. It's just nice to be a nice person. And you guys hope you have a wonderful day. Goodbye and subscribe.